we don't build our own ticket tracking system or email clients. So why do we expect every person who joins a team to build their own collection of snippets to access the internal systems? Those systems are usually not very well documented and only way to learn how to use them is by asking someone or reading source code. Though one might argue this is the only way how we can learn nuts and bolts of a new job, we think that we have a better solution. So let's learn how to use Insomnia new collaboration features to provide a pre-built collection of sample requests plus documentation about purpose of each endpoint so new team members can be productive on day one. Let's get to it. Imagine this, it's your first day on a job in a publishing company and they ask you to go and explore the blogging API. So you jump in into Insomnia, creating collections and trying to hit this create a post API. While you're exploring this, you're hitting error after error and trying to figure out how to resolve this, you're learning a little bit more about this API. You will be lucky if API is forgiving and give you some of the guidance what went wrong. In many cases, it's not the case. Wouldn't it be nice if there would be feature that allows you to get access to set of pre-built APIs that your team built before? Guess what? we made this happen in Insomnia project. So let's explore how it works. Let's go to Insomnia button on the left top part of this UI and we see there are some projects available for you. You can ask your team to add you to one of the projects and this project will appear here in a real time. Let's switch to this project. When you open this window for the first time, there is not much to see here. So we need to go ahead to the right top button pool and bring some of the collections that are available in these shared projects. We're gonna get the collection of the blog APIs. As you start looking around, you see on the left side, you have all possible endpoints that are available to call this API. But this is not the best part. The best part that this collection of requests includes documentation, which can tell you about parameters that you need to pass, default types, available options, and so far and so on. This is very nice. How would you know that there's even default parameter and there's some available options available? More importantly, you learned that this slash post API is now legacy and it's recommended to use specific endpoints for specific content type. The collections shared by the team make use of another feature of Insomnia environments. Each member has their own credentials, so collections configure to read this from environment. So let's configure this to make a request. When we're trying to make requests uh, with uh, new parameters, we're still getting errors. And while we're trying and trying and trying to make this work, we figured out that actually author here is object. So we need to update documentation so anyone who will be using this API in future will not hit the same errors. And after that, we can push this change to the server. Finally, using share project means that you always up to date with functionality. For example, new team created new sets of API for newsletter and you will have access to this API immediately in the real time, just like that. Shared collections in Insomnia project will help your coworker to start and being productive in the day one. But it's not all about API requests. It's about documentation too. By keeping documentation close to code, close to where it will be actually used, we making chance to this documentation become stale very, very low. If you wanna make use of this new shared spaces, go to insomnia.rest and sign up.